Kelly Blue Book reports, 49% of Americans drive with a warning light on, whether it's the check engine, oil pressure, or brake light. Ignoring the wrong one can slam you with a $1,000 repair bill or worse. But how can you tell what each one means? This is why in this video, I'll explain every critical dashboard light you must know and what to do when you see them. Stick around till the end because I'll reveal the one light most drivers ignore, and it could shut your engine down without warning. First, let's understand what these different warning colors mean. Green lights mean everything is okay. Yellow or amber lights mean there might be a small problem, but it's not urgent. Maybe your tire pressure is low or you need more oil. But if the red dashboard warning light appears on your cluster panel, then you must stop and fix it right away. It could be something severe like engine trouble or brake failure. Now, starting with the most critical warning symbol. Number one, check engine light. The check engine light is one of the most important warnings your dashboard can throw at you. It usually shows up as a small engine symbol or the words check engine. And while it looks simple, the meaning can swing from something harmless to something serious. Sometimes it's just a loose gas cap confusing the fuel system. Other times, it's a misfire deep inside the engine that can snowball into a costly repair. When the light is steady and the car feels normal, it's still a sign to get things checked soon with an OBD scan. That quick diagnostic can point straight to the problem before it grows. But when the light starts flashing, that's trouble. If the car feels rough or shaky along with it, it's best to pull over immediately, keep driving, and you could be pushing your engine toward major damage. This little warning isn't one to ignore. Catch it early, and you might save yourself thousands in repairs. Number 2. Limp Mode Light some cars show this as a lightning bolt, while others display a message like reduced power. When it comes on, it means the car's computer has detected a serious problem and is intentionally cutting engine power to prevent more damage. You might notice the car feels sluggish, struggles to accelerate, or won't go past a certain speed. This is the ECU stepping in to protect the engine or transmission. Common causes include sensor failures, overheating, transmission faults, or fuel system issues. If this light shows up, don't push the car hard. Pull over when it's safe and get it checked right away. Limp mode is a last resort safety net. It keeps the vehicle moving just enough to get you to a shop, but driving through it can make the damage far worse. Number 3. ABS Warning Light when the ABS light comes on, it means your anti-lock braking system isn't working properly. A BS is what keeps your wheels from locking up in hard stops, helping you steer and stop safely on wet, icy, or slippery roads. If this light stays on, your regular brakes will still work, but without ABS, you lose that extra layer of control in an emergency. That can turn a sudden stop into a dangerous skid. Common causes include a faulty wheel speed sensor, bad wiring, or issues with the ABS module itself. It's it's not something to ignore. Get it checked soon. Driving without ABS may feel normal in everyday conditions, but when the road turns slick, the risk of losing control shoots up. Number 4. Brake System Warning Light the brake warning light usually appears as a circle with an exclamation mark or the word brake. Unlike some other warnings, this one should never be ignored. When it lights up, it often means the brake fluid is low, the pads are badly worn, or there's a deeper problem in the braking system. In some cases, it may just be the parking brake still engaged. But if the light stays on after releasing the brake, treat it as serious. Driving with compromised brakes is a direct risk to you and everyone on the road. Low brake fluid might point to a leak, which can quickly lead to total brake failure. That's why this light deserves immediate attention. If it appears while driving, pull over safely and call for help. Your car can run without a lot of features, but not without working brakes. If you made it this far, then consider liking this video, giving it a thumbs up, and subscribing to my channel. This helps me bring you more honest car advice. Number 5. Battery Warning Light the battery light is one of the easiest symbols to spot. It looks exactly like a little car battery. When it pops up, it's your car telling you there's a problem in the electrical system. A lot of drivers assume it's always the battery, but that's not the full story. It could be a failing alternator, loose wiring, or another fault that keeps power from flowing the way it should. Even if your car starts and drives fine, don't brush this light off. Once the alternator stops charging, the battery will only last so long before the whole car shuts down. That means lights dimming, electronics failing, and eventually a dead engine that won't restart. If this warning shows up while driving, it's best to have the charging system checked right away. Catching it early could be the difference between a simple repair and getting stranded on the side of the road. Number 6. Transmission Temperature Light 
When this light shows up, it's a warning that your transmission is running too hot. Inside, the parts depend on fluid to keep everything cool and moving smoothly. If that fluid isn't doing its job, heat builds up fast. And heat is the number one enemy of transmissions. This usually happens when you're towing something heavy, running low on transmission fluid, or if the system already has some wear inside. Whatever the cause, it's not something to ignore. Driving while it's overheating can quickly turn into permanent damage. If this warning comes on, the safest move is to pull over and let the car cool down. Then check the transmission fluid as soon as you can. If levels are low or the problem keeps coming back, get it looked at right away. Overheating doesn't just shorten a transmission's life, it can cut it in half, and replacing one can cost thousands. Number 7. Coolant Temperature Light the coolant temperature light is the one that looks like a little thermometer sitting in water, and when it turns on, it's a big red flag that your engine is running too hot. Engines generate a ton of heat, and it's the coolant system's job to keep things under control. If the coolant is low, the water pump isn't working, a hose is leaking, or the radiator is damaged, that balance is lost. An overheated engine isn't something you can push through. Keep driving, and you risk warped cylinder heads, blown gaskets, or even a seized engine. Repairs that can cost thousands. If this warning comes on, the best move is to pull over immediately, shut off the engine, and let it cool down. Call for help if needed, but never ignore this light. It's designed to protect your engine from the kind of failure that ends its life for good. Number 8. Lane Keep Assist Off a this light means your lane keep assist system isn't active. Normally, it uses cameras to watch the road lines and gently nudge you back if you drift. With the light on, that backup safety net is gone. If you didn't switch it off yourself, check the settings or have it inspected. Lane keep assist may not drive the car for you, but it adds an extra layer of protection you'll want working. Number 9. Oil Pressure Warning Light this red light, shaped like an old oil can, means your engine isn't getting enough oil pressure. Sometimes it's just low oil, but it can also point to a leak, a bad pump, or worn parts inside the engine. Check the dipstick right away and top up if needed. If the light stays on, stop driving and get it checked. Running with low oil pressure can destroy an engine fast, turning a small fix into a massive repair bill. Number 10. Tire Pressure Warning Light this light looks like a horseshoe with an exclamation mark, and it means one or more tires are under or overinflated. Driving like this hurts fuel economy, makes handling unsafe, and can even cause a blowout. Check your dashboard or infotainment screen for exact tire pressures. Refill to the recommended level, and if the light doesn't clear, the tire could be leaking or damaged. Get it inspected right away to stay safe. Number 11. Traction Control and Stability Control I this light, showing a car with wavy lines, warns about traction or stability. It often flashes when the system is working, like on wet or icy roads, to keep the car steady. If it stays on during normal driving, there could be a fault, commonly a bad wheel speed sensor or a system issue. While some cars let you turn it off in sport modes, for daily driving, it's essential. If this warning doesn't go away, get it checked. Proper traction and stability keep you safe when the road turns slippery. Number 12. Airbag Warning Light the airbag light is one of those warnings you should never overlook. It's normal for it to turn on briefly when you start the car. That's just the system running a self-check. But if the light stays on while you're driving, it means the airbag system isn't working properly. At first glance, it may not feel urgent because the car still drives the same. But the real danger shows up in a crash. If the system has a fault, the airbags might fail to deploy when you need them most, or in some cases, deploy at the wrong time. Both situations can make an accident far more dangerous than it should be. Airbags are designed to save lives by cushioning the impact during collisions. Driving without them working correctly is like wearing a seatbelt that may not latch. If this light stays on, schedule a checkup right away. Fixing the issue ensures your safety systems are ready when it matters most. Number 13. Automatic Emergency Braking AEB, Disabled Light when this light comes on, it means your car's automatic emergency braking system isn't working the way it should. Sometimes it's nothing serious, just dirt, snow, or heavy rain blocking the sensors. In that case, it usually clears up once the weather improves or after a quick wash. But if the light stays on when the sensors are clean and conditions are clear, that's a sign something deeper is wrong. AEB is designed to step in and stop the car if you don't, preventing serious crashes. Without it, you're missing a big layer of protection. If this warning doesn't go away, get Get it checked as soon as possible. Safety systems like this are built to be your backup, and driving without them puts you and everyone around you at risk. Number 14. Immobilizer Warning Light 
This light, often shown as a car with a key inside, is tied to your car's anti-theft system. A quick flash when you start the engine is normal, but if it keeps flashing while driving, it means the system isn't recognizing your key properly. Ignore it, and the immobilizer can shut the engine down without warning. That's more than inconvenient, it's dangerous if it happens in traffic. On top of that, if the system locks you out completely, your car may not restart at all. The financial side is just as painful. Fixing a faulty immobilizer system can run anywhere from $300 for reprogramming a key fob to over $1,000 if the module itself needs replacement. And if it strands you somewhere, add the cost of towing an emergency service on top. So if this light stays on or flashes when it shouldn't, don't wait. Get it checked right away. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to watch this one next, where I'm sharing four wrong uses of WD-40 which could wreck your engine completely.